Are you worried you can't last long enough in bed? Premature ejaculation can be embarrassing. Today, let's look at what it is and how to manage it. It's not my fault. Premature ejaculation is a very common problem, affecting 30 to 40% of men at some point in their lives. It's believed to be the most common sexual dysfunction impacting men. Unfortunately, many men avoid consulting their doctor due to the sensitive nature of the condition and fear of embarrassment. Many medical professionals define premature ejaculation as orgasm with ejaculation within one minute of entering your partner. In reality, what matters is how long you and your partner think is long enough. If you're regularly orgasming and ejaculating earlier than you or your partner would like, you're suffering from premature ejaculation. What causes premature ejaculation? We split premature ejaculation into two main groups. Primary premature ejaculation, this is where you have always suffered with early orgasm and ejaculation throughout your life. In many cases, primary premature ejaculation is caused by psychological issues. Secondary premature ejaculation is where you've developed this condition later in life. Again, this may be psychological, but there may be other factors at play as well. How can we manage it? So first is self-help. There are several techniques that some men can find helpful to delay ejaculation, and you can try these without consulting with your doctor. The first is using thick, ultra-safe condoms that can reduce the sensitivity and stimulation for the man. Second, masturbation within a few hours of before your sexual intercourse. Number three, the stop and start method, where you pull away from your partner when you feel close to orgasm. And number four, distraction. Thinking about something else can help you delay your orgasm. Next is couples therapy. If you're in a long-term relationship, couples therapy can be helpful. This has the added benefit of exploring relationship issues and gaining advice on managing them. For example, couples can learn techniques to help the man unlearn the habit of premature ejaculation. The first technique is the squeeze technique. This is where the man is stimulated by the partner. When almost at the point of orgasm, stimulation is stopped and the partner squeezes the head of the penis for 15 seconds. Stimulation is resumed after a period of 30 seconds, and this cycle can be repeated several times, delaying orgasm. The next is the stop and go technique, which is a variant of the above, but without the added squeezing. This unlearning can take practice, and only when you feel more confident should couples engage with intercourse. Fortunately, premature ejaculation is also treatable medically. Let's take a look at what some of the options are. The first is anaesthetic gels and creams, such as lidocaine, prilocaine cream, 5%. These must be used with a condom, otherwise you'll cause numbness, not only to yourself, but to your partner. Also, they should be applied around 30 minutes before sex, so they've had time to work. The second option is to use antidepressant medications, specifically selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. Dapoxetine provides on-demand treatment for premature ejaculation. For the best effect, it should be taken approximately one to three hours before sex. Other SSRIs such as fluoxetine, sertraline and peroxetine can be used off license as part of their side effects, but they require daily treatment with results expected in about one to two weeks. I've hoped you found this information helpful and perhaps it's encouraged you to discuss premature ejaculation with your partner, therapist or doctor. No matter how embarrassing your problem is, healthcare professionals are always here to help. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye.